Here we're going to talk about navigation. Here in our timekeeping system, we need a button that will take us to each of the three entities. And we're, we want this button to take us to a list, and from the list we will click on an individual record, and that record will then take us to the, the detail screen where we can edit uh, if we're allowed to. So looking at this, let's say uh, time and users, the two buttons we already have, they, they look like this. Uh, its name, a single step, go to layout, right? Nice and simple. We're missing one, so let's make another here. Uh, I, I typically advise people to use scripts for your buttons. Uh, we haven't done that here, and I'm going to show you the, uh, how we do that from scratch. So this one is for tasks, and we're going to perform a script. Now, the thing is, we don't have a script, so we're going to make one. This new script is called go to task list. Uh, we're going to put a little something here. The, uh, the hash, if you like, the pound sign allows us to create comments here. Uh, don't write your comment until this is green. If it's gray, it's still waiting for more. Little tip. Uh, so in here, we want a go. Oops, here we are. Uh, we're going to the tasks. All right, here we're going to go layout. And we are, uh, put this over here where you can see it. We're going to the task list. Cool. And, you know, why not? While we're here, let's go ahead and add in adjust window to resize to fit. And then uh, we'll go ahead and add a move to uh, put the, it's already the right size, but let's go ahead and make it top left corner. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. You can have a great deal going on with a script, uh, you know, more than just go to layout. So let's show the difference here. I'm going to take this and go to browse mode with it. Let's save our changes. And now we hit tasks and boom, right? Nice. Uh, this went very tall. There we go. Bottom of it. Great, so now what we have here is the task list. We also have already got a button here, just to show you one more. This button actually is a different format. We had this earlier. This button is uh, with an icon. You choose this one to make it an icon with a label, uh, and then moving the label to the top or to the right or left, right? So we're going to put our little house back there. And this is also a single step, but you know what? I'm really thinking we ought to convert this to a script because this is our main menu script. So I'm just going to call it home. And uh, yes, it is going to go to layout, but I also want it to... Uh... No, for now, it's fine. All right, so now our button is a little more full-featured. It's actually running from a script. Great, now we're back here. Now we're here. We're here. This is great. So. The next thing is we want this to go to a detail view. I'm going to make these uh, not editable in this environment. And this just means turning off the field entry for browse mode. Uh, and we'll leave it for find mode because then we can actually do finds on this screen, which is kind of cool. So now we can take these two fields and convert them to a button. And this button will perform a script, which is not created yet. We'll make it now. It is uh, task details. And this is a go-to layout. For an individual task. Good, good, good. Browse mode, save our changes, and when we click get milk, we are taken to the get milk record. Very nice. Well, we actually have no way to get back, so let's put this in layout mode again and uh, make this wide enough to see our tools. Put that away. We're going to need a button right here. That button will have an icon of home. We're going to use a script. The script is called home. And there you go. Oh, that's a very small icon. Let's double click here again and change the size of our little home icon to as big as will fit there. Could have just as easily typed it here, by the way. Let's call that 25 from now on. 
and we can save our changes, put this in browse mode, and now we have a little button for going home, tasks, hanging out, home. Cool. So we do the same thing for the rest. Over in users, we put this in layout mode and change these in the same way. I think in this case, we this is where that let you know just go to layout didn't show us the whole layout. So this is one of those where when we went to the user list, let's go home. This button is currently a single step go to layout. And, and now you can see what happens when you just go to layout is that you don't get the resizing that shows you everything you should see. So a couple of things. Let's try and you know let's think of this as being a mobile app and we want it to uh, we want it to be something that will fit on a small screen. Remember in layout mode we actually have an outline here of an iPhone. So knowing that that's how big a phone is and we want to kind of just move everything to that size, let's take this and we have no reason for this to be any bigger than that. And we'll move the footer up here so that we, we have the entire screen there. And so now when we put this back into browse mode and save our changes, uh, if we were to uh, hit tasks and go back home, there you can see now it, this, this is how big the screen is and it actually fits nicely on a phone. But here we have that same problem where we didn't go to the right screen, so or we didn't get to see all of it. So let's put this back in browse mode, or sorry, layout mode. Users, change this to a script. Uh, we don't have one yet, so let's call this one. Actually, let's just uh, we'll do this another way. I'm going to choose, go to task list, and duplicate that. In fact, while we're at it, let's just go ahead and make one for the others. Tell you what, let's do a quick little edit of the scripts. And we'll go in here to each of these. Just double click here. Call this user list. Save our changes. This is a time list. So let's go back over here to, uh, I guess we're, we're done with the scripts. So now in here we can edit this. We told it we wanted to perform a script. Let's choose the right one. This is for going to the user list. Uh, here's the one for time. It's a script time. Tasks is already set up as a script. Go to task list. But we still have a little bit of work to do here in, in the uh, scripts. The tasks is going to the task list, but the users is currently going to the same spot. So let's make this the user list. The time list needs to go to a different layout. Great. So now we can save, save, close this, come back here, put this in browse mode again, close this, we're done with it. So when I click users now, let's let's click tasks, right? Home, time. Ah, look at there. Well, clearly this is larger than it needs to be. There's a whole bunch of space we could clear out of here, here, here. We'll leave the description as wide as necessary, but these names are never so long as this. This actually goes off screen a bit. So let's uh, put this in layout mode. Come to the other end here just for fun, just to kind of begin this process. We'll scooch this down, make this fit, and uh, squeeze this in. We thought we could move this in about, let's say, a quarter of an inch. The time, both of these could be moved in a bit. Move this down here. Start grabbing all these things. I am holding the shift key down to select multiple items. I'll just move them all at once. Come back down here. Let's just grab the end of this and scoot it down. We're never going to get it as far in as a, a phone, so uh, not without losing some fields. So in the meantime, we just wanted it to fit on screen. So I'm going to save my changes. Browse mode. Click the button. Let's see how that acts now. Good. 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 All right. So what we have now is uh, the, these all fit. Uh, navigation. 
It's a good thing.